So maybe we, you can talk to him later. Thank you very much. Okay. So, so you can introduce the, the next speaker. Next speaker. So next speaker is the team of characteristics of respiratory symptoms and smoking behavior at health facilities in Vietnam from by Dr. Dr. Jap Phong in Bakma Hospital and the associate professor of the uh, associate professor. So thank you, Professor Chairman and ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of research team, I would like to present and share with you the VCAP one, that is uh, our um, study, uh, characterizing respiratory symptoms and uh, smoking behavior within the Vietnamese healthcare system. So as you know that um, uh, VCAP stand for Vietnam COPD Asthma and uh, Prevention of Smoking. Uh, VCAP one, we focus on and uh, you know that the effectiveness of an integrated health sector strategy to combat uh, COPD and asthma in, in Vietnam. This study funded by NHMRC and periods of funding is five years. And uh, we also receive uh, the support from the GACD. For VCAP one, we uh, uh, would like to identify uh, acute and chronic respiratory disease and smoking practice among patients presenting to health facilities. And we would like to better understand the current approach to manage uh, uh, chronic lung disease and smoking within the health system. That is a prospective cohort study performed among patients with respiratory symptoms or current smoking presenting to selected health uh, facility. We conducted, uh, you know, that 1,033 uh, patients, and we divide in three groups uh, with uh, respiratory symptom, no smoking, and uh, respiratory symptom with smoking, and no um, respiratory symptom but uh, patient smoking. Uh, for respiratory cohort, we did found that the, the uh, age distributions and uh, the average age uh, around uh, 55 years old. And patients come to, from uh, provincial districts and also uh, commune the commer. And uh, we estimate that around 25% patients come to all the facilities. What about the diagnosis of patients presenting to healthcare facilities with uh, respiratory symptom. Among those, we found that uh, we focus on COPD and asthma, and you know that for all first, uh, healthcare facilities, the pre prevalence of uh, COPD around, you know, that uh, 15%, and for asthma, uh, uh, less than uh, 10%. Uh, we also ask patients and, and identify if patients receive uh, inhaler medication or not, and among uh, 81 patients, uh, diagnosis with COPD and asthma, you know that the prevalence of uh, patients with COPD and asthma, but you know that did not receive uh, the, the inhaler therapy. That is very important point. It's very important for us to have, uh, you know, intervention for the next step of the VCAP. We also mentioned about the comorbidities of uh, uh, COPD and asthma, and we did found that for COPD and asthma patients, they have a high uh, prevalence uh, of hypertension and also TB in comparison with uh, respiratory cohort. For the smoker, you know that uh, we did found that the age is also the same so, uh, smoking habit. Uh, in Vietnam, you know that majority of smokers are male, so it's uh, different from uh, the other country, in European country or in the United States. And the uh, average of cigarettes per day uh, smoker who smoke uh, around uh, 15 uh, uh, cigarettes per, per day. What about uh, the, you know, the, we also ask patients in terms of uh, patients already try to quit smoke or which method they uh, use when they uh, would like to, to quit smoke. And uh, we did found that uh, the the, the proportions of uh, smoker who receive counseling, you know, that is uh, really low. That is uh, it's, it's not good because uh, according to WHO guideline, patients should receive 
the brief counseling from the healthcare worker is uh, very important. And the NRT, NRT nicotine replacement therapy is not available officially in Vietnam, so that is why uh, the uh, prevalence, uh, um, the proportions of uh, people who would like to use NRT is uh, really uh, low. We also ask um, people who smoke about the willingness to quit. It means that uh, in the next month or next 12 months, uh, they would like to quit smoke or not. And uh, luckily, one third of uh, smokers would like to quit next month. Maybe due to the respiratory symptom, maybe due to the respiratory they are suffering from, so they would like to quit. And uh, the lesson we could learn from the VCAP one is that, you know, uh, more than 25% uh, of patients who visited healthcare facilities with respiratory symptoms have uh, airflow limitation. Maybe they have a COPD or, or asthma. And the second lesson we could learn from the VCAP one is that uh, you know, the inhaler medicine not often prescribed by healthcare worker is not good for, for COPD and asthma patients. And uh, patient diagnosis with COPD and asthma are more likely to be co comorbidities with hypertension and TB. And also for the um, smoker, we did find that 45% uh, 45, 45 of the smoker would like to uh, quit smoke uh, in uh, next year. So that is uh, our research. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Zap. And uh, we would like to welcome the question from the floor. Thank you. 